Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So let's take a look at some cool add-ons that you can use to create fluid or even simulate the idea of fluid in your scene. These are very impressive tools that you can use for high performance simulation and also for very cute and simple project. And with that said, let's get right into it. Flip Fluid is one of the most professional fluid simulation tools and this comes with amazing tool sets that you can use to create high quality looking fluids in your scene. So whether you're thinking about doing a white water effect, high viscosity effect or even playing with surface tensions to get some very interesting looking effects for your model, this add-on has you covered. Impressively, you can now choose across two different kinds of solvers that currently exist with this to actually create the kind of simulation you're going for, as this now offers the Flip and the APIC solver. So if you're looking for a fluid tool that is easy to work with and comes with a ton of cool features that you can use for professional simulation, then Flip Fluid is the add-on for you. Santos Liquid Works is a procedural material and asset tool. In this is a collection of over 130 liquid procedural materials and geometry node generators that allows you to perfectly create liquid simulation in any scene or on any model inside of Blender. And this comes with a good number of controls and parameters that will allow you to generate some impressive cool stuff for the model that you're going for, with high quality simulations that just simply make simulating these things in your scene super easy. And for the generators, this comes with a procedural condensation generator, a procedural bend straw, a sparkling animation, and also a procedural cocktail umbrella. Alongside these, creators will have access to a good number of liquid types that they can work with. And this includes apple juice, beer, coffee, cream, honey, ice cubes, grape juice, and so on. So if you're in the market and you're looking for something that is pretty easy to work with, that also comes with a good number of generators that you can use to polish your scene and get some interesting results with it, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Santos Liquid Works, which is a procedural material tool that is currently available at Superhive. And something which is slightly different from what we've got with the Santos tool is the Fluid Painter. And Fluid Painter is one of those cool tools that you possibly would want to have, especially if you like to paint your liquid by hand, or maybe you like to control how to drape onto any surface. And that is basically what this tool is all about. As with this tool, you can literally paint any kind of object you want by simply drawing on top of them and having that liquid simulate, as this now comes with 30 interesting presets that you can work with, and now ships with a drop system that actually simulates the idea of having droplets in the model. At the same time, there's also the drop timeline loop and also the drop stream simulator, which I think is pretty cool. And this is just that cool add-on that you want to have in case you're thinking about painting a scene or giving an illusion of a simulation that has been done on an object or in a scene. There's a long list within the preset which actually offers a lot of things that I believe creators would want to see for themselves. So if you're into painting and you're looking for something that is pretty nice, then the Fluid Painter is one cool one that is currently available. Liquid Fill is a very interesting one-click tool that allows you to simply animate your fluids in a container. So if you're thinking about a tool that you can use to animate the fill amount of a fluid or maybe you're looking for a tool that you can use to control the condensation effect and actually get some real-time animation feedback on this, then this is the tool for you. As this also comes with some very interesting looking effects that you can use for the Uber Glass tools that comes with it. And this tool definitely comes with a good number of shaders and tools that you can work with. So if you're just in the market and you're thinking about a tool that you can use to animate fluids on a container or even play with the droplets of fluids, then of course you can consider checking out Liquid Fuel from the folks at Blender Might. 3DC has created the Procedural Fluid Simulator and this is a tool that simply allows you to simulate fluid on any surface with full procedural control. And this actually works with a couple of nice cool things that you can work with and this includes simulating fluid on the surface and also driving that fluid based off a curve. You can of course go ahead and also do some very cool stuff that requires texturing and also controlling the ripple effects of that fluid. The cool thing with this is this is a 2D fluid simulator which means it doesn't affect performance in any way but simply uses textures to drive the fluid simulation and get you amazing result. And 3 d Seek has also made some very cool stuff which are also procedural that also deals with the simulation. And one of them is the procedural water simulator 
And of course, there's also the procedural flow map. And these tools are currently available as well, as they simply rely on 2D to allow you create that fluid effect that you're going for. Of course, if you're looking for more procedural simulation stuff that deals with melting, fracturing, welding, or even creating lighting right inside Blender, you can of course rely on 3D6 VFX to make things happen. And now that we're done talking about liquid simulation tools, let's talk about some other water body and water related simulation tools that are also available on Superhigh. And one of them is the cell fluids from Specular. And this is a 2.5D tool that simply allows you to create realistic fluids for both rivers and ocean. This uses 2.5D texture tools to actually create wakes for your scene and this is marvelous. With some interesting shaders that allows you to simply create lava, stylized water, oil, juice and so on. At the same time, we've also got some very nice stuff and this is the Universal Water VFX Simulator. And this is for those who are thinking about creating simulation where their simulation gets to interact with objects in their scene. And this tool does it really good as it also comes with some interesting preset tools that you can work with. The folks at Lazy3D have also released the Physical Water FX Deluxe. And this is a water collection tool that allows you to simply create very interesting looking water effects on your scene. So if you're looking for that tool that you can use to create those very peaceful, rippling looking effect on the sidewalk, or maybe you just want to simply have a tool that you can control, use it to do some very cool animation and punch up some form of realism in your scene, then this add-on has you covered. The folks at Blender Procedural, they also have the Easy Wake. And the Easy Wake is also another interesting tool for anyone that's thinking about creating Easy Wakes with Procedural tools. And this tool is just super fantastic as it actually saves you so much time as this is fully optimized to get you quicker results easily. So if you're just thinking about the tool that you can use to generate dynamic oceans quickly and easily with options of fine tuning how the simulation would look like and run super simple inside of Blender, then this is the add-on for you. And while we talk about oceans, the folks at Physical Add-on, they do have the Physical Open Water, which is also amazing. And so this add-on is a very professional add-on for those who are looking for advanced real-time ocean and water simulation for Blender. Now we've made a full video about this one, and this is not a 2.5D tool. This is real mesh being simulated. And this comes with a good number of presets that allows you to create amazing looking waters. And you can simply go ahead and also create wigs and some very interesting looking simulations with this one. Looks at Altab have created the Ocean and Water tool, which is completely free. And this is a tool that you can also use to generate animated oceans with various level of scale. This comes with nine water types that you can pick from across eight different presets that you can work with. So if you're looking at creating some liquid simulations, possibly, possibly you like something that is fully procedural and something that can work easily for you, then this add-ons right here. And for those that are looking for assets, there are some assets that are right here that you might want to consider checking out from the folks at B Production. And this includes the Liquid Splash. This is an interesting set of 3D assets that you can use just in case you like to create that steel life effect. But then you want that water in there and you don't want to simulate that. This is the add-on for you. It comes with a good number of presets and has some nice shaders that you can tweak to get some very interesting results. Fluid kits from Kazaship also have similar stuff as well. So in this case, if you're looking for, you know, assets that you can use, and of course, animatable ones, you can actually come through and check these ones out. And of course, explore them and see what and what you can do with them. Of course, there's also some nice cool tools from the folks at Polygonic, as they've also created the Water Library Aquatic, and this also comes with some good assets, which includes the Rain Generator, the River Generator, the Puddle Generator, and so on. At the same time, you get a couple of interesting presets that you can work with. And the cool thing with this one is you can go ahead and paint it however you want to get the simulation to look just about right. And it is pretty interesting to see that they have that. And if you're just looking for a shader that you can work with, possibly like a material, you might want to take a look at their material tool, which comes with some good shaders that you can tweak and get impressive results. Other than this, there's also a couple of cool tools, which includes the real-time ship, which is amazing for anyone that is thinking about doing a ship simulation. 
If you're thinking about doing some more ocean simulation, then you might want to consider taking a look at the real ocean tool, which is available from 3D Dude. So this is it. Cool stuff are currently available, of course. And for those who would like to see all these ones, I'm going to link them in the description. So do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.